Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Meeple University. Today we'll show you a quick how to play or overview for Ancient Blood, the Order of Vampire Hunters, so you can get a bit of a flavour for this game. Coming up. So we do a lot of how to play, live playthrough videos and more. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of our new videos. And if you find value from this video later, please hit the like button, subscribe to us and hit the bell and leave your feedback in the comments for others to find. For now, let's get to the table. Ancient Blood, the Order of Vampire Hunters, is a story-driven adventure game in which a team of vampire hunters explores villages, fights the vampires, and faces the terrifying Elder. It was designed by Filippo Chirico and published by Dark Gate Games Entertainment. The game plays 1-4 players with over 20 hours of total gameplay and is of medium to high complexity. Thematically, Ancient Blood is a prequel to the 2018 cooperative but non-story driven game The Order of Vampire Hunters, and while some of its mechanics were inspired by its predecessor, Ancient Blood is a standalone experience. In Ancient Blood, each player takes the role of a vampire hunter, and players will be guided through the story by the campaign storybook. A story will lead the hunters through four types of location through villages, where the hunters can visit establishments, rest between fights, equip themselves, and unfold elements of the story, vampire dens, where the hunters will engage in combat with hordes of vampires and the undead, paths, which are random encounters between the two, and the elder's nest, home to the most dangerous enemy of all. Most of the action takes place in the dens, which is a non-grid based tactical skirmish between the hunters and vampires. Each round, tracked on the clock, sees each hunter take one turn, alternating with the enemies who activate with an AI. A battle will pass from day to night, which increases the difficulty, as the enemies get stronger and the sleeping vampires wake up so you should do your best to wipe out as many vampires as you can during the day. On a turn, a hunter may perform three actions, the options being to move, pick up or trade items, attack or retreat. Movement is from area to area, across rooms, or through open doors, and requires an evasive maneuver to escape from an awake enemy. Attack, which can be melee or range depending on your weapon, is resolved with dice. Roll all of the coloured dice on the weapon and then add the symbols rolled to the symbols on the attacker's board. So here, 2 speed and 3 hits. For the attack to succeed at all, you must at least meet the minimum speed on the defender's card. So here, 1. The attack might succeed. Then the defender rolls red or yellow dice based on its defense statistics and may roll either shields or dodges. These are again added to the defender's card, so here there's two shields and two dodges. Speed symbols cancel dodge symbols, shields and remaining dodges cancel hits, and any remaining hits score wounds. Ranged attacks must be within maximum distance and have line of sight which can be blocked by walls and shortened by doors, but otherwise unrestricted. Enemies attack in a similar manner, with each moving towards the active hunter on its turn, and then attacking if within range. As they eliminate enemies, hunters will gain Vials of Vampire Blood, a powerful but dangerous substance. Players may inject it in order to activate special abilities which will give them more symbols in combat but doing so will gradually cause wounds and put the hunter at risk of being turned. The battle offers a variety of other effects, giving experienced skirmish players a fully immersive tactical experience, such as weapons which are enhanced by ammunition, generate noise which might wake nearby vampires, makeshift weapons which might break on use, 
or hunters teaming up for a coordinated attack. During day rounds, hunters may use some weapons to smash boarded up windows, killing all the vampires in the room with sunlight. And when facing the Elder, the enemy will have four abilities of its own, which must be removed one by one before the Elder will fall. In the villages, the hunters will visit establishments, level up, craft weapons, and, or when otherwise driven by the story, will face tests in their six attributes, faith, mind, agility, persuasion, diplomacy, and occult which are resolved with a roll of the appropriate number of dice, with a success scored if at least one die meets the test's target. These tests help to unfold the narrative and build up the character development and role-playing elements which form the hallmarks of a great adventure game. Throughout everything, hunters need to be wary that in the battle against the vampires, death is not the end. A hunter who is killed is turned to the vampire side and fights against the other hunters, with compulsion cards dictating the turn hunter's actions and motivations against the former allies. Ancient Blood, the Order of Vampire Hunters, will come with three complete stories in the base game, with more to come through the expansions. With wide scope for character building, a detailed and changing narrative, and a well-balanced cooperative skirmish battle, the game offers everything adventurers could want from an immersive world. And that's the quick how to play for Ancient Blood, the Order of Vampire Hunters. We hope that you enjoy the video. We are using a prototype copy of the game and so the rules and components may not be final and do check out the project page for the game. We'll put a link to that in the description below. And if you find this video useful, please help us by hitting that like button. Subscribe to us, you can also hit the meeple in the corner to do so and hit the bell icon so you'll be one of the first to know when we have new and exciting videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. See you next time!